Good morning, me again, welcome back. Plastic surgery is a very fascinating topic. A lot of people on social media are either getting it or have something to say about it. Kind of like when people argue about pouring the milk first or after the cereal. I pour the milk first because I hate soggy cereal. You will never change my mind. There are a lot of opinions on plastic surgery and whether it affects our society in a good way or a bad way. And there's no wrong answer here, it all depends on the person and your personal experience with it. I'm sure people on the internet can peacefully come to that realization said no one ever. It's not a bad thing that people want a hot girl summer all year round. Love yourself is a phrase that lifestyle influencers, BTS, and wine moms love to use. But loving yourself in the long term with plastic surgery, well that's where it gets sketchy. To quote the popular Shakespearean play, Mean Girls, this isn't a math equation where the limit does not exist. It is very possible to go overboard, and we don't really know the effects it has on your health in the long run. 20 years ago, we didn't think that people would be flying all the way to Turkey to get 9 plastic surgeries all at once for a 15 second TikTok. And the short film Human Form might be one of the cinematic timelines we find ourselves in. It starts off with a 5 year old girl named Inhyung drawing some pictures on the floor. Interesting fact, her Korean name actually translates to doll. Hmm, I wonder if that has anything to do with the direction this movie is heading in. Nah, I don't think so. When have I been wrong about a movie? Other than most of the time. You're telling me that Chainsaw Massacre isn't supposed to be a comedy? We find out she is very talented at drawing girls with really creepy faces. Sort of like if the other mother from Caroline was in a magical girl anime. Maybe Inhyung is in her weeb era, or maybe she's just a child in a horror movie. Why is kids drawing scary pictures like a mandatory activity in these movies? There's other equally terrifying things to draw other than monsters, like those monkey NFTs, or a gas station bathroom at night. Inhyung's mom likes it so much and decides to hang it up on the wall, along with a bunch of other creepy and unsettling drawings that she's done. I'm no interior designer or anything, but even I know that wall ain't good for feng shui. Flash forward to Inhyung in high school. She's checking herself out in a mirror outside on a bench, all alone, obsessing about her looks. As one does, when her friend comes to pick her up and they head over to a clinic together. Turns out, it's a plastic surgery clinic, and Inhyung is wanting to look like the pictures that she's been drawing all her life. The nurse with no face takes a look at her notebook and doesn't have the greatest news for her. And I'm sure by now, we're all wondering, what's the deal with her in those pictures? Sure, I've wanted to look like Emo Sasuke after watching Naruto, but I didn't need plastic surgery for that. So far, we haven't seen any of the adults' faces. I wonder why. Ah, that's why. In this universe, the norm is to have the same surgically enhanced appearance, and everyone is adopting this style of face, where you can show someone directions by pointing with your nose and chin. At least they have smooth skin with no pores, or wrinkles, or any human looking characteristics whatsoever. This clinic is also for rich people, and the nurse brushes off Inhyung saying that she can't possibly pay for this surgery. Talk about unrealistic beauty standards, not everyone can afford to look half doll, half Halloween mask. Just take a look at her family. I have a feeling it's not genetics. And if that's not making Inhyung feel isolated, guess who else has plastic surgery? That's right, the dog. Even that dog is living its best Kardashian lifestyle. Oh, what's next? Is it gonna get a dog BBL and start eating $40 salads? Now that, I would like to see. Inhyung feels like everyone is a hypocrite, since they're saying she looks fine the way she is, when everyone else is sporting the newest and trendiest face. At this point, her dad comes in, and you'd expect him to be the voice of reason, right? Dads always know how to break the ice when everyone is fighting.
or they're oblivious to everything and make the situation worse. Since everyone around her has had plastic surgery done, Inhyung meets up with her friend to talk about what happened. You know, the only other person we've seen with a normal looking face. Um, what the hell? How did she get that done so fast? Do they sell plastic surgery at fast food restaurants? She went to the Mick Clinic and got a Mick facelift and a small fries. I'm guessing she went to the same place this guy did. Uh, what was that? <laughs> that looks like me in high school, trying to be emo Sasuke after he abandoned all his friends. While Inhyung is being sad and emo, she does what any rational teenager would do. Get free plastic surgery from an ad she saw that was posted in a sketchy back alley. This is Craigslist, but in real life. After signing a contract that was probably printed off a stock image website, Inhyung goes for her surgery, and the result is. Well, I'm just gonna let you guys watch and make your own interpretation, because this ending was very confusing to me. Inhyung gets her plastic surgery reveal, and congrats, she looks exactly like her mom. But unfortunately, some complications arise, and the sketchy plastic surgeon says something that your sketchy plastic surgeon shouldn't say. And we're not really sure if Inhyung lives in the end. We do see a scene of her sitting down at the family dinner table, and this creepy scene of her family staring at her is the last thing we see. Am I saying that if we keep promoting the do what makes you happy lifestyle and pro plastic surgery movement, that we're all gonna end up looking like this? No, this definitely won't happen in the future. I'm like 65% sure. It's just an interesting perspective and a spiraling thought I had after watching this video. No matter how crazy it might look to us, if you're the only person that doesn't fit in, then that can isolate you and make you feel left out. Especially in East Asian countries like South Korea, where people do their best to fit in and conform to the majority rather than stand out. There's a lot of pressure from society to fit in. In North America, however, people tend to live a more individualistic lifestyle, where if something makes you happy, then go for it. Regular human beings really like to belong in a group, unless you're one of those sigma alpha males or something. Now let's take a look at the complete opposite of the spectrum. This is Natasha Crown, a glamour model that loves getting cosmetic procedures. And her goal in life is to have the world's biggest bun. Like a hamburger bun? I read that wrong. It's actually bum. My name is Natasha Crown and I want the world's biggest bum. I'm going to have world's biggest bum. That's my goal. And I'm going to reach it. So this isn't in North America, but in Sweden. I'm assuming that Europeans are similar to North Americans where they live life for themselves. But if there's any Europeans here that want to confirm, please let me know. I'm very curious to know how your society works. Because I'm only basing my opinion on one person that got five BBLs done. I'm assuming most of you guys don't do that, right? When I was 20 years old, I did my first surgery and it was a BBL, Brazilian butt lift. I did my last Brazilian butt lift one month ago and that was my fifth. And soon I'm going to have my sixth. I've spent around $150,000 on my surgery. Wait, in seven years she changed that much? She didn't just surgically alter her features. She actually bought a whole new character for $150,000. I have always been different. And in Sweden, women think that the skinnier, more beautiful, but I think they need to see this is how real women should look. I started to go to the gym. The bum grew. At some point, it just stopped. So I decided to have surgeries. That's the start of everything. As you can see, plastic surgery is definitely addictive. If you're the type of person that fixates on things or gets addicted easily, it can spiral into something crazy. And there's always a chance that procedures like this can go wrong. These days, everyone is driven by money, because capitalism rocks. The doctors that keep on operating on people like this, while they are making bank, it's a very gray area about how ethical it is. In the end, we're not Natasha, we can't say whether this is good or bad for her. I mean, health-wise, Probably bad, but brain-wise, I'm not too sure. She seems happy. 
you have my personality and then you have my my body and then you have everything on top of that you know it's it's, it's yeah it's extreme you know what natasha is actually going on a blind date today going on a blind date and i'm super excited but i'm still nervous because i hope he is handsome <laughs> Oh, funny. Maybe more classy because if I go too sexy, he will be like intimidated, like too much, like boom, boom, boom. I don't think the clothes are what he's going to be intimidated by. It might be the second thing, but definitely not the first. I'm also really curious. Is the guy going to be similar to her or is he just going to be a regular person? I'm Adam. I'm from Gothenburg, Sweden. I'm 28 years old. The only thing I know about Natasha is that she's 27 years old. I hope we get hit the fun evening and who knows what this can bring us. Oh no. He looks normal. You've done this before? <laughs> you haven't? No. This is the first time. Going on date. No blind, blind date. <laughs> no <laughs> done this before. What are you famous so for? I, I'm famous for my big bum. How do you get famous for that? You can be famous for everything. You can have three legs and be famous for that, you know? No. Nah. Okay. okay, this YouTube channel truly truly did this guy so dirty they just made sure this guy would never go on a blind date ever again i had my bum done for two two months ago and i'm going to look at his face <laughs> so another question what because i'm like enhanced to the max yeah and i'm gonna explode so no i'm just kidding but <laughs> what do you think about plastic, plastic surgery? surgery i don't have a problem with it actually don't because people have some opinions about plastic surgery that's why okay. I'm, I'm asking you about that he reacted more calmly than i thought he would and he seemed more curious about her than anything i know i wouldn't be calm because my brain is probably as filled as her butt with so many questions it looks like it has its own consciousness and i started working out at the gym okay okay so i was like and then i had a, an idea to a, a go to go and have to pump my ass, you know? I wanted to have big ass. And then my journey started there. So you went from fitness to surgery? Yeah. Well, as I told you, I don't have a problem with it. That's good. Well, if you need a good reason to not go to the gym, you can use this reasoning. Guys, listen, I literally can't go to the gym. I'm afraid once I start working out, I'm just gonna get this huge urge to get five or six BBLs. I don't have good enough credit to take out a mortgage for my butt. I'm like a small town boy and she's a city girl and uh, they're from two different worlds, I guess. That's a very nice way of saying nor. I think it's going okay. Uh, I think he's in shock. It certainly wasn't what I was expecting. I would like to see her again, but I wouldn't think we would match romantically. My personality is like bam, 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 you know? And I'm not even talking about my appearance. It didn't work out, we're moving on. Uh, hopefully I will find someone someday. This was a big experience for me, and I tried blind dating, come on. <laughs> okay, Natasha seems to be a very nice person that knows exactly what she wants in life, and I can respect that. But the thing with drastic and overly done procedures like this, we have no idea how this is going to age in the future. Yeah, she feels fine now, but what about in 30 years? I don't see this type of work aging very gracefully. But what do I know? Maybe in that time frame, we'll have some new advanced technology that lets you adjust your body parts like you're making a sim. With everything in life, it's all about balance and making well-informed and educated choices. Beauty standards and cosmetic procedures are always going to exist in the world. So just make sure you take care of yourself no matter what you decide to do to your body. Hey, as long as we're not paying for our dogs to get BBLs, then I'd say we're doing pretty okay as a society. I'm like 45% sure. Oh, but maybe the YouTube algorithm wants a BBL. And you can feed it an overpriced salad with a like and a comment for engagement. And I'll get to pop up on your recommended with more weird and fun things to talk about. Have a good day, try not to be dumb, and I'll see you in the next one.